It's been around nine weeks since I felt like myself. Yaho everybody, I'm Super Geeky. In today's video, we're gonna talk about identity. I know identity is a big topic around the world right now because a lot of us are really going through a hard time in our hearts, you know. There's riots, there's peaceful protests, there's the media feeding lies down your throat, there's the right, there's the left, everybody is trying to get you to think a certain way, and it's honestly speaking a little overwhelming. And when we're overwhelmed, it's really easy to pick a side. I believe in this, and I'm not even going to consider what the other side has to say. Yes, I still don't agree with the riots. I think this is really bad for the black community because you're further promulgating race divides in our country. And America is a big melting pot of cultures. It's not just one happy place of sunshine and rainbows. But to not be willing to even hear the other side of the argument is not the right way to be productive. And it got me thinking about this question of identity, right? And I've been trying to recover it all around the world. That's why I've been traveling so much. I've been trying to chase after it in different continents. But honestly speaking, identity is something that you're never gonna chase after and find. Identity is something you just have to sit down and you gotta build. Something you gotta sit down wherever you're at, and just start building. What do you love to do? I think this is a great question to ask yourself. What do you love to do? What do you wanna do? What's gonna make you happy? And then look at the past couple of weeks of your life. Have you been doing that every day? Have you been living that way every day? And this doesn't have to be going outside. This doesn't have to be seeing friends. And you still can. You still can online. But I like seeing people. I like meeting people. And I haven't been meeting anyone online. I've literally given up on a lot of the things that I love to do. And that has really caused my identity to deteriorate. This stuff is designed to keep us in our head. This stuff, all this this overwhelming amount of information to process and unpack and unload. And then we have a voice of reason that might not be the right reason, it might not be the wrong reason, but it's a voice of reason that's telling us, look, you don't have to unpack this information. You can just listen to me because I know the right way for you to think. But is that the right way to live? I'm not sure about that. Because you're not living on your own terms, you're living on someone else's terms. And that's the problem that's happening right now with our society. Too many people are residing themselves and giving up their mental cognition, their brain's wonderful tools, and just saying, you know, you can do the thinking for me. Let's think about us. Let's think about where we're headed as people. Not where we're headed as a country, not where we're headed, not where we're headed as a species, but where we're headed as people. Because guess what? Where we're headed is controllable by us. What I'm trying to say in this video is just be a little more critical because this stuff is affecting your identity. And let me tell you this, it's not a good effect. Unless you seek to learn both sides of the argument and become well-spoken on it. Anyway guys, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.